All right, everybody, we're going to wait for our post notifications to go out. We're getting ready, folks, for another uh, rendition of Half Faith, Let It Begin. I'd like to welcome everyone to the pre-show. That's right. This is the pre-show, and uh, we are Half Faith, Let It Begin, and we are going to be live, as we always do here on this platform. We hope that all of you are listening in and getting ready for another episode, and we hope that you're enjoying um, our episodes each and every week. Just want to remind each and every one of you um, that we are available every single weekday, Monday through Friday, and that's at 7.30 a.m. live. Folks, at this time, I just wanted to just go over a little bit of business with you because, again, we're going to go officially uh, live um, on our platform, and that will be at 7.30. So let me go over some business with you. Don't forget that this Friday, um, we're going to have uh, Angela on our show. She's uh, giving us a personal testimony. It was very heart moving, and it's something that I really hope that everyone is going to listen to, that everyone is going to get their family and friends and kids together because it is a very inspiring message. It is called A Work in Progress. That is the title of her personal testimony. We also want to point out here at our show that Angela's um, testimony will then be re aired and replayed. On Sunday, that is correct, Sunday, June 30th, we will re-air her message and she will then be on our show on Monday for questions and answers. But moving forward for the month of July, we are going to make sure that her message is heard every Sunday for the month of July. So again, if you don't get a chance to listen to it live, on the, well, not live, but this Friday, I should say, we are going to run this uh, personal testimony every Sunday for the month of July. So I just want to make sure you're aware of that. Also, I want to point out um, that um, a lot of things are happening in this world today and a lot of people have been writing to us and telling us about prayer requests. Uh, We will be doing a formal prayer today on our show and I'm going to try to continue to do those formal prayers um, as often as I can. Uh, Today's episode, if you haven't looked at it yet, is entitled... Um, Half Faith Part 1. We're going to go back into this series um, because I think it's important uh, that we continue um, to spread this message and to keep things going. Um, Don't forget, everybody, we have our own webpage, halffaithletitbegin.com. You can email us directly, angel at halffaithletitbegin.com. Now, when you're on the website, I noticed somebody actually wrote to us last night that there was an error going on in our, our website. We have fixed it. Our uh, social media account team has uh, gone in there and done some great work. Um, now when you go on to the sermons, it will bring you to a sermon rather than back to the front page of the website. So I apologize for that, but thank you very much for pointing it out to us. It is important that we know when the website is not working um, at 100%. <clears throat> and of course, I'm still sick, so I'm doing my best um, to continue to get better and better. Um, getting ready for Ariel's uh Formal, formal baptism this Sunday, uh, June 30th. I'm excited about it. My sister is coming into town um, this Friday. Unfortunately, I have to uh, do a uh, go to a, a funeral uh, this Friday for um, a couple that uh, I married a couple years ago, and unfortunately, the husband has passed away. Um, so we are going to uh, honor his memory uh, this Friday, um, and that's uh, something I have to do on a personal note. Um, but anyway. Um, We are now getting ready to go live, Um, and uh, before I do that, real quick, if you don't know how to get a hold of us and you're listening to us from a friend's phone, you can Google us, Have Faith, Let It Begin. They'll show you the last three episodes and what's currently live. In addition, we are available on Spreaker. These are apps, by the way. If you have an iOS phone, which is an Apple phone, you already have the, um, the app on your phone. It's called Podcasts. Push that button, type in Have Faith, Let It Begin, or subscribe. And uh, rate our show, and you'll be ready to go. Uh, SoundCloud, we have are available now. Spotify, we're on iTunes, um, as I just stated. We're on iHeartRadio, Tumblr, uh, CastBox Player, Player FM, and now we're available on the Echo Show and the um, Alexa app. <coughs> With that being said, let me get my um, bearings here as we get ready for another live rendition of Half Faith, Let It Begin, and I'm excited for the day. On June 16th, 2018, I launched this show. Have faith, let it begin. Join me each and every weekday 
at 7.30 a.m. live because this is a show all about faith. Motivational topics, inspirational stories, personal testimony designed for you, the daily commuter. My name is Angel and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. 30 seconds to go. Hi, I am Mia. You are listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Ten seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, this is Freddie, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Half Faith Let It Begin on this Wednesday, June 26th, 2019. Folks, I want to welcome you all to another live uh, episode as I commute to work with all of you. Let's get started. First and foremost, I went to the optometrist yesterday. I'd like to give a shout out to my optometrist, Paul. That's right, PC, you're the man. Um, always good to see you and uh, if you don't have a good optometrist, uh, go to Jules Vision Center. They're awesome. Um, they are amazing. Uh, look them up online. Um, I guarantee you, you'll not be disappointed. The staff there is professional, and they do all they can to make you feel comfortable. Folks, you saw the title, so let's get started. The title is called Half Faith, and it's part one. So for the next two days, I'm going to talk to you about that. Let's get started. When I started this show back in June of uh, June 16th of 2018, I wanted to do it because I believe, and I still do, that by spreading messages, talking about topics, real life topics, real personal testimony, inspirational stories, real life stories, I set out to try and change the world. Now I'm aware that I'm just one person, but many of you have ears, many of you have open hearts, and many of you have subscribed. One of the things that have really put a huge um, part of my heart to be filled with further and future and more, it's not even the right words I want to use, but you have just filled my heart with so much joy and happiness. It has also strengthened my faith. Faith is something that we all struggle with. And that's why I leaned the show, Have Faith, Let It Begin. Because every day when we wake up, we go through the same routine. Some of us get up and they say, oh, I don't want to go to work. Some of us wake up with back aches. I pulled my back out four days ago and I'm still hurting. But the thing that is most struggling and the hardest part about our day is how often our faith is challenged. How often our faith we struggle with. And I'm here to tell you that I am not perfect. I have struggled with my faith. I have gone through depression. I have dealt with many obstacles. I've battled storms. I've watched my loved ones get injured, get hospitalized. I battled through my marriage as we had difficult situations, family struggles, in-laws. You name it, it happens. It happens to us all. Nobody's life is perfect. But there is one person that is there for us each and every day. And I cannot stress that enough. My father did a devotion the other day and part of part two will be about this, but I want to give you a little prelude as to what will will be coming up. It is about a resume. It is about reading a resume of someone who is applying for a position. And I'm going to read that resume to you. And I want to see if you would hire this individual. Well, as all of us, as all of us go through our daily life and our daily routines and we encounter struggles, obstacles, people trying to come up and sneak up and steal our joys, remember, God has a plan for all of us. God made each and every one of you in his image. You all have a gift. You all have treasures. You all have talents. If you put those talents, treasures, and gifts to the forefront, if you believe in God, if you allow Him to be a part of your life, I guarantee you, 
you will see a difference in your life. You will see the struggles and all these obstacles diminish. Yes, they will constantly be coming back, but your faith will allow you to be more powerful, more structured, so that you can battle these obstacles. Now, I've said it once, I've said it before, and to contradict myself to a certain degree, I've struggled with my faith. Of course we have, we're human. We are battled with storm after storm. Sometimes we'll go a whole year, six months, two months, or maybe just a full day of good stuff, and then bang, something bad happens. Some of us struggle with our bills, struggle with our uh, ability to perform at work, then all of a sudden we have a stretch of good luck, a stretch of good things, and then bang, something happens. I remember the other day, some of the ladies had told me at my job, I was struggling with bills, I was struggling with this, and finally, I won something, I won money, and once I got the money, I was able to put it toward the bills, and just when I thought that I was ahead, my car breaks down, and I'm back to where I am. Why do these things happen? Why do I struggle? I feel like I just go to work just to overcome the next obstacle and the next obstacle. I feel like I just go to work each and every day because I pay for the bills and I pay. When is it my turn? When am I going to get ahead? When am I going to be happy? These are the things I hear each and every day. These are the type of environments that some of us are involved in. We cannot allow all this negativity, all of this negativity, to tarnish, to distract us from our way of life. I'm not saying ignore these people. I'm saying pray for them. Listen to them. Allow them to know that you too have gone through these struggles. Allow them to know that they are not alone. None of us are alone. If you don't have family, if you don't have immediate family and you struggle with your life, this is your show because this is your family and we will be more than happy to welcome you here at Half Faith Let It Begin. But it all starts with you wanting to make that first step. And that first step is believing in yourself, believing that with God, all things are possible. With everything that you have in your heart, believing and trusting that there is a better good out there, that there is something better for us all. As you start your day today, I want to pray with you and say the following words. Heavenly Father, I thank you for our viewers here at Have Faith Let It Begin. I thank you for the message that I was able to provide this morning. Lord, we know that I preach off the cuff, that I give a message off the cuff. I don't script anything. I believe, Lord, that you provide me with the right words at the right time because the message that has been given today is, is designed for someone or some people, maybe just one individual. Maybe it's just for me. Whoever has been touched this morning with this message, may you go out into the world with happiness, with a better light. May the Lord's face shine upon you and give you nothing but peace. We pray for our military personnel, foreign and domestic, our first responders. We pray for the family of Teddy Theodore German. We pray for Janine. We pray for them as they are celebrating but mourning the life of their husbands, brothers, uncles, grandfathers. Lord, we pray for Samantha and her cancer. We continue to lift up in prayer Brian and his ability to get better and better for his mother, Liz, his brother, John, and sister, Liz, and Barbara, I should say. We pray for individuals that continue to struggle with the way of their life. We ask you now more than ever to come into the hearts and allow them to realize that you are there for them. We pray and praise you for Angela, who will be coming on this show and changing many more lives and adding to this show by providing us with personal testimony. We pray for my wife and daughter, Ariel. We pray for our families. We pray for those that are traveling a great distance to be with one another. We ask you this in your precious name as we thank you for Chip and Freddie and their families, for our mothers and fathers, our brothers and sisters and wives, nieces and nephews, grandparents, and all around the world. 
as you go about your day, if you happen to drive by a church, allow the words of God to sink through and hear you say, you are welcome here and anywhere at any time. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen, amen. Have a great day, everyone. I just hope that this message was heard. I pray that your day is filled with nothing but happiness. I pray that God comes into your life today. And I pray that you will have faith and let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we improve. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Hope you liked everybody this episode today. Don't forget part two is about half faith and the resume of someone that I want to know if you would hire. Join us tomorrow for a very powerful conclusion of Half Faith, Part 2.